Hey guys, it's Will here, coming at you Wednesday again. Take a look. Big books, uh, big quantity of books this week, so our shelf's quite full. So let us quickly get through this as we close up the shop for the day. Staying at the top, we got some singles that are just the variants, so I've decided to put them up here to save space and make the shelf look neater. So it's Wonder Woman 772 and Superman 31. I, the glare with the lighting, the sun's out longer now, so... Get a lot of glare behind me. So it's gonna be, might be harder to see some of these books. Starting off here, then on the main shelf, of course the main cover is behind the variants. We got Black Cat, Batman, the Urban Legends number three, Kanto, Challenge of the Super Sons, Children of the Atom, Conan. Really cool Fantastic Four cover. I really like it. The story seems to be pretty good still in Fantastic Four. Definitely better ones that I've read since. Uh, Doctor Doom was amazing, and I loved it. Too bad it ended, but it was great. So that's a series I'd recommend picking up in trade, along with reading this new Fantastic Four. Got our first giant size Amazing Spider-Man in forever. And we got Geiger number two, which book is hella sick. I recommend reading the first one if you can find it. Then our first number one of the, the week slash the month that I can remember is Gotham. Future State Gotham. That looks pretty cool. I've actually flipped through inside with that the variant. We got Detective 2, the Batman, Batman the Detective Guardians, Heroes Reborn with its variants. All that. We got Hyperion and Peter Parker, Amazing Shutterbug, other stories in the Hero Reborn universe. We have Joker number three comes out this week. Uh, our second number one of the, the week is Justice League Last Ride. Guessing it's a book that's going to tie up Rebirth slash New 52 and move into this new uh, Infinite Frontier or whatever it's called banner. Got Carmen. Definitely a book I'd recommend for older audience. Um, Magic. That book's been pretty good. IDW is real, or Boom is good too for it because they do Lumberjanes. But Boom and IDW... Especially IDW, I'd say it's better. Does really well with their licensed products. Writing stories for stuff that's already pre-made. So if you guys want to read some newer magic stuff, if you've read the older stuff back in the day, i say the Brother Wars and all the older stuff is a lot better. But for those who want to get into magic, lore at least, and want to read some new stuff and all that, this is really good. I'd highly recommend it. And then we got Spider-Man. Proctor Valley, those go quick. Our third and last, I believe, number one. I could be wrong. No, I'm wrong. Our, our third number one. Robin. So that looks interesting. Uh, I bet that's going to go fast. First appearances all week of different characters. I'm not too sure in which books. We've got Silk. Silver Coin. The What If storyline of Spider-Man. Star Wars High Republic with their... The new Star Wars banner event, the Bounty Hunters War. We got X Corp, the last, the for sure last number one of this week. That's in the new X Men book. And our graph novels and last singles. That uh, Princess Saves Herself looks pretty neato. It's, a, it's metal as AF, as we would say here. We got X Men Corps with its variants. And then last but not least, for our singles and our graph novels, is X Factor and Miles Morales and Fantastic Four Complete Collections. So with that, we're going to go, sorry if it was a bit wheezy, just got finished going up and down some ladders, cleaning up stuff and helping some people out. So the allergies do not help with that. So I'm all clogged up, but we should be good to go here. I'm going to go pack up so I can catch that bus and we will see you guys tomorrow morning.